Great day, second grade students and families. It's Mr. Sargent here with one of the last videos of the 2023-2024 school year. Wow, where did the time go? Um, I want to th first of all thank everybody for all the support this year. This was by far one of the best second grade groups out there. Now, as we get to the end of the school year, we do have some important dates. So make sure you have your calendar handy and let's go over the important dates at the school and for our class as we prepare for the end of the year. Now, first things first, this Tuesday and Wednesday, May 21st and 22nd, all second grade students first grade students and kindergarten students do not arrive at school until 1130. Ms. Lewis, Ms. Daniels and I will be administrating the EOGs to the, some of the older students. So we have late arrival for the K2 students. Once again, those dates are May 21st and May 22nd, where arrival does not begin until 1130. All right. Now, also this week, on Friday is the end of the fourth quarter, which means grades will be put in and we'll make sure we have the report cards by the end of the year. But on May 30th at 8.30, we will have our, we will have our fourth quarter awards day, our last one of the year. It's gonna be a great time to celebrate. Once again, that time will be 8.30 on May 30th. Also mark your calendar, May 27th is Memorial Day and there will be no school. So next weekend, we hope you enjoy your extra day off and you do a great job celebrating Memorial Day and we'll see you bright and early on that Tuesday. Now also the week of May 30th, we will be having our end of year reading and math diagnostic on iReady. Uh, I highly suggest everyone shows up those days and does their absolute very best. We use this data to see how much growth we showed this year in both reading and math through the use of this IRE assessment. Uh, we'll be taking it the week of the May 30th, and we cannot wait to see all of the great progress that every student has made this year in the second grade. Now, following week, June 3rd, will be our annual field day, and we are definitely looking forward to field day. Now. For the parents out there, uh, we need to make sure that our students and our scholars have what they need for field day. Plenty of water, uh, plenty of uh, like a towel, different things like that. More information will be going out about field day in the future. Um, also parents, I know in years past, we've allowed people to come in and celebrate with our scholars on field day. This year, because of the size of our population and how we just grew this year, uh, we're going to limit to the parents to just those that volunteer. But if you would like to volunteer, definitely reach out to the school, reach out to the front office, and I believe reach out to coach. I think something on Class Dojo was already sent. So definitely, if you would like to volunteer, there may be an option or an opportunity for you to do that. Um, if not, we're just going to enjoy our field day with our scholars and have a safe and fun time and make some of those memories. And then on June 4th, it's our last day of school. I know, I know, I know, I know. June 4th is our last day of school. And ladies and gentlemen, I know for a fact that Miss Daniels, Miss Lewis, and I are gonna miss each and every one of you, but starting June 5th begins your summer break. So enjoy it, you earned it. Like I said before, I got one more video coming out before the end of the year. I can't wait to share it with each and every one of you. And until then, have a great day.